Hey, I'm uh, going to tell you how to make a very safe, almost foolproof, remote explosive. So, all you're going to need for this is some wiring, a straw with about the width of a match, some hot glue sticks, a lighter, and a pocket knife or razor blade. Um, so what you're going to do first is you're going to take your straw with about the width of a matchstick and uh, snip off a 1 to 2 inch segment. Once you've snipped off your 1 to 2 inch segment, take some of the wiring, usually copper is best, with a medium sized gauge, and you pull off a strand from the wire. This is done after stripping the wire. Um, once you have your uh, stripped wire here, you run the tube through it so the wiring is now inside of the tube. What you want to do now is seal one end of the tube so that nothing can get out of it with the lighter. So yeah, now my straw is totally sealed on one side and you can see that there's an empty space running along beside the, beside the wire. Um, now what I'm going to want to do is take matches or whatever else I want to put in there that's heat, heat activated and shove it into this pipe and once I have all my components shoved in I will take my um, lighter once again heat up a hot glue stick and seal off the cap on the other side be sure the glue stick is not on fire or you will lose some fingers <laughs> so now that you're you have a sealed tube what you're gonna want is to hook this up to your ignition system so the tube is all sealed two diodes sticking out on either side and then the wire running through the middle along match heads or some powder that will ignite so what you're gonna do is connect the diodes up to a wire like I've done here and uh, there's nothing in this charge but there could be uh, so now what you're gonna wanna do is um, hook this up to a 12 volt battery like on your car and uh, be sure that you're not hooked up while you're setting it up or you're going to blow your hands off and take it back run back your cable as far as you want to be connect the diodes and it'll light up I've done this probably close to 200 times it's only failed once or twice so it's an excellent system and it works wonderfully also if you're doing fireworks you can run the fuse right along there inside of the tube and just put a match head on top works great. Seal it off at the base and you have a wonderful foolproof uh, safe explosive. Please keep in mind that I've created these so that well it's not as dangerous when you're lighting fireworks and you can re create displays. Um, please don't go do something retarded like light something up that could blow up a house or a car because I don't want to have responsibility for that and these are meant for safety, not to cause anarchy. So please don't use these for something absolutely ridiculous. Also, it's not a bad idea to take safety precautions. Like, I often use a mask just to keep my face saved because there's been plenty of times where I've had um, some interesting things happen. And Buying one of these is a very good investment and it'll save your face over and over again, over again. So you can see that uh, I've set up the box so that there's two leads uh, going out to the box uh, where I've set up the charge to uh, be blown up. This charge is um, a flash charge. It contains something that's similar to uh, gunpowder. And uh, when exposed to heat, produces a small uh, puff of smoke and light. And uh, it's great for kind of an effect. But uh, for lighting something, I would usually suggest either match heads or uh, something that would burn for a longer time like that. And it would produce much better results if you're trying to light fuse or some other material of that sort.